hi guys and welcome back to Thelma's kitchen so today i'm gonna be bringing to you a forero well the best way i can make a forero um i know you may be thinking why is it all leafy and all that um, i'm using spinach and i'm looking at the health benefit than the sweetness of the food in the sense that i just don't want to add a uh, little um vegetables and then just have it stewy and say okay because it's still we have actually afforded something this was how my mom taught us to make um a for i've seen other different types of for but nothing beats this and trust me it's not forever it's not for swallow it's more of the rice white rice kind of thing so at this point i was um boiling my meat if you notice from the beginning i didn't add water because meat has uh, water so i just had to steam the meat for a certain um, period of time before i added water that's um based on the amount of water i might add i might add at the end of the video to my um vegetables so i have with me the main the main G for today this is our spinach see trust me i bought three bundles of this and it was quite much because i was making for two different places two different persons too so i just made the one i have um, a very very close um relationship with someone that doesn't have um or doesn't like um locust bean hero so i had to separate it and in this point you know for your special person you have to look at what is um what they like and what they don't like irrespective of how you feel so i ended up making two videos um two different parts of the for hero now this one was more um plenty because of um I had few my family members you know to add into the mouth so i added my locust bean yeah so people don't like it like i said my special person doesn't like it i like it because it gives flavor to your food if you see two hands in this video just know it's my friend that just wanted to keep changing like oh my hand must show it's your ma my hand must be here so i added my stockfish already washed clean board and i'm just um I'm going to allow my friend keep staring since that's what she wants to do i just allowed her to keep staring and um like i said it's not a stewy thing it's something you eat with rice so over time i'm going to be adding bush meat you know she's um a yoruba girl who came from um ocean state and she brought bush meat fried bush meat and she was like the leaders put this i want my bush meat to be inside it but i didn't really like it so when she brought this and she said she was like okay let's just try and put it so i ended up just putting only one batch of her bush meat so what do you guys think about this bush meat thing <laughs> because honestly for me i can't deal <laughs> honestly i can't do uh my mom when i was little was it when i was still a teenager sir, she brought a uh, grass cutter and the person that seasoned it it was so salty i nearly i nearly passed out i'm just joking so this is the bush meat i was talking about she already fried it at home and she just brought it and i was like okay let's just add it my younger brother was quite excited for the bush meat he was like oh, finally we're gonna eat bush meat again and all that well if you can see i'm trying to debone it because um i wanted it to go for some certain persons in this house but i do want to taste it and i do want to see plenty in my food so for my um recipe i'm going to be adding panla i don't know what's the issue with um panla right now on social media people have been saying please remove it must you always act panla i've been following food bloggers and you know nigerian food bloggers and you hear people like please this thing has just killed this thing why did you have to add this like this can someone just agree can someone just meet to the point that the panda is actually under overrated i know i don't know do you think it's overrated or not because left to me as much as i feel like it's um it's affordable i like the taste of it it gives your food a certain taste and i don't know if i'm wrong to some certain people i prefer pala over um titles fish like 
ah, <laughs> any mackerel i prefer it over that because i'm not really a fish fan and panla gives me this dried you know it's always dry but soft yeah it's better than and the skin is not what to say i don't know how to describe it but <laughs> it's firmer than normal um fish that you get to it i'm not really a fan of fish like i said so i added my beef and my promo my cow skin there is no way you would say you're making um of a ferrero without adding you know some certain kind of um obstacle in your food i don't know um uh, <laughs> i'm an advocate of obstacle in the food but like if a ferrero you as much as it's small vegetables you should have other side um attractions as to your protein so this is me just between i was just asking myself sure you will not just cut this video and just eat this with normal rice without adding the food but i was like eh can it go to waste no please it can't go to waste and i just had to finish this video anyways guys i really do hope that you have shared this video i hope you subscribe if you haven't subscribed please and please and please please do subscribe share like and you see that comment section it's always where i look forward to most of the times well honestly a girl can only wish to see it's not everyone that um enters into the comment section to you know comment and all so i just really do hope you guys can issue you know comments and let me know what you want me to make let me know um if you're okay with this yeah concerning this spinach you don't have to um boil when i was growing up i made the mistake of boiling and it was quite uh, <laughs> so i just started um i just started to steam it like in a hot water and then just bring it up ensure that once you've um, drained out the hot water that you use the cold water to stop it from continually cooking and here we have it guys thank you for viewing see you next time Mwah.